Roger, I guess by you being out here, that means you, you've cleared the concussion protocol. How are you feeling, and, and how ready are you to go for Sunday? Man, I mean, I'm, I'm very happy that I got a chance to clear that. You know, it didn't come with any type of, you know, degree or anything like that. So I was a little bit disappointed, no certificate. But at least I'm done with this thing now. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I plan on playing, plan on playing well. Um, this is this is all a part of the process, and I'm just doing what I'm told. How difficult has it been just with the injuries kind of going in and out of games at times mm -hmm. with the line to, to be able to have that full communication? And um, how do you kind of improve the pass protection moving forward? Um, right now, as far as like, you know, the injuries, you know, it's kind of been weird for me, um, you know, nerve things and like the head, obviously, uh, which, you know, you want to stay away from those injuries as much as humanly possible. And a lot of times when I get pulled out, it's more precautionary than anything else. Uh, as far as the pass game goes and, and pass protection, I mean, we just have to go back to ground zero and try to figure out how can we do our fundamentals better, make sure that all five guys are working and gelling together. Um, you know, don't abandon your technique when things start getting bad, um, like those, those types of issues. Um, but, you know, I have confidence in our guys. I have confidence in this team. You know, I love the way that we've been running the ball, uh, and, and we want to continue to do that, but also continue to excel in every single area of the game. What are the weeks, the days like after maybe a game like Sunday where you don't want to point fingers, but you want to get things fixed and you guys got to be on the same page? What, what, have, uh, what are those conversations like? Uh, you know, honestly, Everything was about turning the page, uh, getting back to what matters, not dwelling on uh, what happened on Sunday. And uh, for us, you know, you want to try to, to to give as much positive feedback as you possibly can, show the things you do uh, well, so that every day doesn't seem like kind of like the drudgery of just that cloud over top of you. Surprising that we're all the rush. I mean, Pass Pro was such a strength of, of the line last year that mm -hmm. come out on a start like this got a little bit. Surprising, I would guess, for you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, 100% uh, surprising. And, you know, the, the crazy part about it is we have every excuse in the world to why things shouldn't be clicking right now. Um, but, you know, as a man and, and just as, you know, somebody that has pride in this football team, we, we got to abandon those excuses and just focus on the work, which is from, uh, I, I would even say, Monday to Saturday. Because, you know, even though that those are kind of like our off days and a little bit lower tempo, I mean, you're still getting into work, getting into recovery, getting head start on, on, the, on the tape. So all of that matters. You've played some good running backs in your career, man. Mm -hmm. You've talked so much about Derek since you've been here. But yeah. how, his workload, his consistency, his wanting the ball, I mean, is he very unique in that regard? Is he sometimes even surprised yes. you? Yes, you know what you know what it is is like all the all the running backs that I've that I've blocked for have had you know this certain X factor about them. Um, you know when I think back to you know Stephen Jackson, Steve Jackson had the size and he had the power, his ability to break tackles and be able to extend plays. And you know those first three or four years, his breakaway speed was crazy. Um, you know so that was that was great to see from him, and it was just kind of like all right. You want to work harder so that you can get in the way of anybody that's going to give him a, a, a chance to get that long score. You look at look at Todd. Todd's speed was insane. You know, what I mean, he was able to to split the entire defense at half, even on a screen, and get to the end zone. He just had a knack for uh, whenever he got the ball, making big things happen. You look at Derek, and Derek is more just you know this power guy that's able to steamroll people, run down here, wear out defenses, and then be able to pull away in the third and the fourth quarter after toting the ball for 35 times. You know, what I mean, that's that's exciting things to see, and you know. Uh, it really puts the workload on the, the backup running backs because they want to do the same thing. So, you know, it's just it's, it's great to see everybody has something special, different, special about them. But um, at the end of the day, it's like, what can I do to be able to bring that X factor out even better? You seem, Derek, maybe even be a little more physical even so this year, like sometimes you're kind of lower that, that shoulder seems like more this year than even in the past. Or you know, I think I think that you know he's done a great job of being able to listen to the noise without changing him completely, and everybody keeps on talking about how he doesn't start off as fast, and you're starting to notice that every year that gets that time gets shorter and shorter and shorter. I mean, you look at it, we have one game, 58 yards. Next game, almost 200, and 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 touchdowns and two touchdowns. I mean, that that's that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? And then. Even after a day that we had like last Sunday, to be able to run the ball 33 times for 157 yards is still a huge accomplishment. Um, you know, it's just continuing that process. He's trying to help us out the best way that he can, but then it's all down to, you know, you doing your job at the end of the day. 
lot of guys talk after a loss about, hey, we got to have a sense of urgency. We got to correct the problems. Can it be hard to have that same sense of urgency after a win? And how do you think this team is with that? Um, the good thing is that over the process of Coach Vrabel being here, uh, they've seen the worst and the best. Uh, they've been able to handle the adversity and, and get better. So I don't think that it matters. We're constantly challenged every single week. And it's just kind of like understanding that this is a marathon, but that doesn't mean take take it easy. That means have that mental focus and be like, every day I'm just going to come in here and just keep getting better. Every day I'm just going to push a little harder. I might add a little bit more weight in the weight room. You know, that process is something that I believed in my entire life. And that's what's helped me play as long as I have. So, I mean, I try to challenge my teammates to do the same. You know, like Nate's a guy that he is like the rest of the line in general has, has not been at it yet necessarily so far this season. I wonder if you talked to him and, you know, the fact that he's still a younger guy and so forth. Oh, yeah. I, I, I basically told him, like, hey, there's there's been games where that I've had uh, in the past that were kind of like that. And, like, uh, the only thing that you can do is what you can control. It's not about dwelling. But, you know, after games like that, you want to be one of the first guys in doing whatever you can do. Uh, to, to improve yourself and to start getting that recovery better because at the end of the day, we need you. And I reminded him, like, hey, listen, you're the guy that got two all-pro votes last year. That's still the same guy. This one game doesn't change any of that. So just get back to work.